Hello everyone, welcome to Bridge LCS. In this video, we'll guide you through the payment, advance, and refund features within the Bridge LCS platform. Payment section is used to record the payments made to the supplier with respect to their outstanding invoice. To initiate a new payment, begin by accessing the finance module of the platform, then navigate to the voucher section. From there, select the payment option and click on new payment button to proceed. Select the supplier, account number, voucher date, voucher text and other relevant information. The currency exchange rate column displays the exchange rate for the currency selected when the supplier was created. Enter the amount paid here. Once you choose the supplier from the drop-down, all the bills related to that specific supplier will be displayed below. Enable the checkbox of the respective supplier invoice, enter the amount paid and make sure that the excess amount is zero. The green tile indicates approved payments while the red tile shows unapproved payments. You can view the details of the payment made by clicking the amount displayed on green and red tile. Click on Add Transaction if additional charges like bank charges, input VAT etc. needs to be applied. If you want to modify the entered data, click on Clear button. Final step is to click on Save. Once the payment has been recorded, it will appear as a draft in this section. To take further action, simply right-click on the payment to approve, print, or upload any necessary payment documents. You also have the option to view, edit, or delete the payment voucher as needed. Once approved, it will move to the Approved tab. Simply right-click here to disapprove, print or upload any necessary payment documents. Additionally, here you can view the approved payment voucher. If the payment is disapproved, the voucher will be moved back to the Drafts tab. From there, you have the option to delete the voucher, which will be moved to the Cancel tab. Next, we will show you how to create, advance, in Bridge LCS. The advance section is used to create and manage the advance paid to the supplier. To initiate an advance payment, click on New Payment button and choose the advance option. Select the supplier, account number, voucher date, voucher text and other relevant information. The currency exchange rate column displays the exchange rate for the currency selected when the supplier was created. Enter the advance amount paid to the supplier. If you want to modify the entered data, click on Clear button. Final step is to click on Save. Once the advance payment has been recorded, it will appear in the draft section. To take further action, simply right-click on the advance to approve, print, or upload any necessary payment documents. You also have the option to view, edit, or delete the voucher as needed. Once approved, it will move to the Approved tab. Simply right-click here to disapprove, print or upload any necessary payment documents. Additionally, here you can view the approved voucher. If the payment is disapproved, the voucher will be moved back to Drafts tab. From there, you have the option to delete the voucher, which will be moved to Cancel tab. Next, we will show you how to create Refund in Bridge LCS. The refund section is used to create and manage the refund received from the supplier with respect to the advance paid. To initiate the refund, click on the New Payment button and choose the refund option. Select the supplier, account number, voucher date, voucher text etc. The currency exchange rate column displays the exchange rate for the currency selected when the supplier was created. Enter the refund amount received from the supplier. Once you choose the supplier from the drop-down, all the advance related to that specific supplier will be displayed below. Enable the checkbox of the respective advance, enter the amount received and make sure that the remaining amount is zero. Final step is to click on Save. Once the refund has been recorded, it will appear in the draft section. To take further action, right-click on the refund to approve and once approved, it will move to the Approved tab. Simply right-click here to disapprove and if the refund is disapproved, the voucher will be moved back to Drafts tab. From there, you have the option to delete the voucher, which will be moved to the Cancel tab. The coin icon signifies that a refund has been issued for the corresponding collection advance voucher. 
Next here, match credit option can be used to adjust the invoice amount of a supplier from the advance paid. To begin, choose match credit and then proceed to select both the supplier and the advance paid. You can view the remaining advance amount in the balance amount column. Furthermore, any refunds collected from the corresponding advance will be shown in the refund amount column. Click on View Refunds to view the refunds received from the supplier. Enable the checkbox of the respective supplier invoice and enter the amount to be adjusted from the advance paid. Final step is to click on Save. A dollar icon indicates the matched credit against the corresponding payment advance voucher. Additionally, Unlink option is provided to detach the advance amount that has been matched with the invoice. To retrieve details of a particular transaction, click on Filters, select the Date Filter, Module, Suppliers or Created by Name and click on Search. By clicking on the star icon next to the payment, you can bookmark it for convenient access from the dashboard. That's all in this video. Hope this video finds you well. If you have any queries or suggestions, please feel free to comment below. Thank you for watching.